where did I put that iPad? Did I, oh, there it is. You know, if I had misplaced my iPad and didn't know where I left it, if I left it at work or if I left it in my luggage, left it at the hotel back at, uh, in San Francisco, this would be helpful to me to be able to find it if I had some device on there. Now, right now, they do have a program at Apple with MobileMe. You previously, you had to pay for an account with MobileMe that enabled you to uh, track your device in case someone stole it as well. So you can figure out where it is. Where is that thief that took it or that practical jokester on April Fool's Day? Well, this is the way you can track it down. What you have to do is set up a mobile me account. It's free now uh, for users who use the iOS 4.2. Okay, that's the new one that just came out. And what you do is you have to go to your settings. If you don't have a MobileMe account, you'll have to create one and it shows you how to do it. And basically, you just go to your mail, contacts, and calendars and go to add an account. If you don't have one, choose MobileMe. When that pops up, you put in your Apple ID and password. That's the same thing you use to buy um, uh, music off the iTunes store or apps for your iPad. Same thing. Use that same account, then you can create it, and so you put in your information and password, and you hit next, and it, and it goes ahead and sets it up for you, and then it'll send you an email for you to confirm, and you click on the link in the email, you confirm that yes, this is the right address, so we don't have the wrong one, and then you can uh, connect to your account, and I'll click cancel here, and then once you have that set up, then you have a mobile me account, and you can set it up to find my iPad, and that feature is on there, and you can turn that on. Okay, and that would enable you to enable it. So if I hit delete account, oh, do I really want to delete it? I'm going to click cancel. So you have on, and that's your account, and you can choose which one you want to have it set to. Now, one, one fallback is if they can get into your iPad device, if you haven't locked it down, they could go in here and just delete that account right off the bat. And uh, that could be a problem for you <laughs> if they can do that. Um, I'm going to click done on that. But there is a way to actually securely lock your iPad down to kind of have a security mode. And that might be something that you might want to consider at some point in the future. There's the passcode lock. If you go to general passcode lock, this is a good way to secure your device so that people cannot actually get in there easily and get access to your content. Is you turn on the passcode lock and require a password. And say immediately, simple passcode, turn it on, um, and that way you can protect your device. Right now I have it off instead of on. That's the way you can do it. So then, when I have my device, and it's sitting over here, and it's just kind of someone stole it, they sw swiped it, or I left it in a piece of luggage, well, you can actually then go to a website and at mobile at me.com and actually find your device. Let me show you how that works. And so what you do is you come up here, Type in me.com. This is after you've confirmed your account with them. And then you type in your account. And once you signed in, it's locating, it's trying to find my device right now. It's trying to figure out where it is. And by golly, it found where my device is in the East Campus Library at James Madison University, which is where I'm shooting these videos. So it did find my device. Now, it doesn't say what room number, but <laughs> it does find it. And if you have a 3G device, it probably is even going to be more accurate because it's going to be able to lock in with cell towers. But this is actually pretty darn accurate because it got to the exact building that I am in and practically in the right spot of the building as well well. So, uh, this could be a way to save your device. It's a cool feature. It's free in the new iPad OS 4.2. Hope you find this helpful. 